A quick little intro before the video intro. So updating SD card contents on OpenTX used to be a nightmare. And it's a lot easier now, especially since we can flash this Tango 2 within the TBS Agent X app. You're still going to need to do some moving of files and folders and stuff like that. Try to explain it the best that I could. I will tell you that in the video I said you can do this first. Maybe you want to do it after you flash it. I don't really think it matters. I can also tell you right off the bat that if your head starts boiling over because of all the moving and copying and pasting, that I ran my crossfire just fine without updating the SD card contents. I just had to skip the actual error message at the beginning. And it was just because the sounds are labeled differently and everything like that. It's nothing crazy. I heard that maybe some beta flight Lua. So anyway, we'll get on with the video. Hopefully I did an okay job. It's really easy when you're doing it for the first time. After you've done it and you're trying to explain it and some of the actions you've already done can get a little complicated. So I think I did a pretty good job. Just make sure you click on that little readme file inside the contents uh, that you download from TBS and it should be pretty self-explanatory with this video and you can hit me up with any questions. Thanks guys and here we go. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I have been trying to get some new content out for you guys, but things have not been cooperating at all. This is what we have been dealing with and I'm assuming a lot of you have too for like the past three or four days. It's just been nothing but rain and wind and everything. Luckily, there's some good things to do. There's been Betaflight 4.2, there's been Crossfire updates, there has been Falco X updates. So we're gonna talk about the whole Falco X and the Betaflight 4.2 and a few other videos. Today I wanna talk about the Tango 2 because the Tango 2 has had updates to the OpenTX, to the Crossfire, to the Wi-Fi, cause if you've been watching any of the TBS Lounge episodes, you know that there is a lot of cool things out there right now, like the multi-bind, being able to bind multiple remotes to a single Crossfire receiver, which I don't know how useful it is, but it's cool. Some improvements in Freedom TX, like some the scroll wheel working the right way now, and some updates to the UI. And the biggest thing, which we really aren't even using yet, is this whole cloud type of thing and taking our Pro Nano or Pro 32 receivers, wiring those up through CRSF, using the Fusion, the Tango, having it all Wi-Fi update together and being able to actually push updates out to the Pro Nano 32, which has a 500 plus milliwatt update out that is, that is coming out. If you buy a new one, if you buy a new one recently and you see that right there, version 1.1, then that means that you already have the capability. So upgrading the Tango 2 is actually pretty easy. There's a lot of videos on it out there, but there's a couple things that you definitely want to know about before you upgrade. First thing that you are gonna wanna do is you are gonna wanna go on, you're gonna wanna go on a TBS's website. And if you scroll down here, you're going to see beta SD card contents download. Now you click on this download, it's a zip file. So you're gonna need to unpack that. And what I suggest that you do is I made three different folders on my desktop right here. I have my original SD card contents, the ones that I downloaded from the TBS website, then a full backup of the new SD card contents after you do this download. So once you get those files downloaded, you're gonna also wanna make sure you're running the latest version of Agent X because it is going to be a little bit faster. Now this process takes a little time and I'm not gonna do it all here for you because I've already done mine, but I'm gonna show you what's going on. So you're gonna to wanna to plug in your crossfire, of course, and turn it on. 
And then you're gonna get the three little choices that are gonna come up. Joystick, agent, or storage. So what you wanna do is just go ahead and start with storage. When you click on storage, you should now be able to go into your file explorer And inside the file explorer, what we're going to see is we are going to see Tango 2 Drive F and USB Drive E. So Drive E is where all of our contents are. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make a copy of all of this and then paste that into right here, your regular Tango OSD backup or whatever. All right, so let's try to make this easy here. So you're gonna end up having three folders. You're gonna have a beta Tango 2 downloads folder. This is what's gonna come from TBS's website. You're gonna have your original Tango OSD card contents that you copied from Drive E and pasted into this folder. This is where you're, this folder here is where you're going to put everything when it's all said and done. Take your regular Tango 2, copy all of this stuff, paste it into this folder. Once you're done with that and you're, you got your good backup, open up the Tango 2 beta folder that you downloaded from TBS. Open that up and that is going to give you some instructions. It's going to say, make sure that you take these files that you've already backed up and you're going to need to put those back into your Tango after you copy and paste all of the new stuff that you just downloaded from TBS. See, if we look at the stuff that we downloaded from TBS, there's no Crossfire stuff in there. But if we look at our actual model, and stuff that we downloaded from the Tango 2, there's that. Same thing with all of our models. We can open up and here's all of our models. If we look at the stuff that we downloaded from TBS, it's completely empty. So these are the files that you're gonna have to put back in. So keep that in mind. Go ahead and take this entire folder, all of this stuff here that you downloaded from TBS and copy and paste that into drive e it's going to ask you if you want to replace this stuff you click yes and then it's going to say it's going to come up with a few errors on some uh probably 40 or 50 different wave files because they're out of sync you're just going to hit skip all that instead of try again or replace every time yada 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 so you let that all go through then copy all of these over like it says and then when you have a full restore copy of your Tango 2, you're gonna copy it and you're gonna paste it into a backup folder and just let that run. It's gonna take a while to do all this. Everything's just fine. So just let that run. This will take a while to copy and paste all the WAV files and everything like that. And that is the most difficult part of this, which really isn't difficult at all. You just gotta kinda pay attention to what you're doing. You're gonna hook up the Crossfire, click on Agent, have Agent X open, and it's basically gonna go through, and it takes a little bit of time. You're gonna see these LEDs are gonna turn from yellow, and then they are all gonna turn green, and they are going to talk about And then everything will be online and hooked up and be ready to actually flash. Once you're hooked up and ready to go then, the first thing you want to flash is the crossfire part. Now, I'm pretty sure you can do either or Tango 2 or crossfire, but the bootloader package is inside of crossfire if you get locked up the buttons on the back of your remote are bootloader buttons but all of that has been fixed and this should be just fine so you just click on manage go to firmware you can see that there has been a couple different versions of the crossfire firmware and then you are just going to hit 
upgrade over here where it says refresh. Now this will take you through a bunch of steps right here. It will take some time. It will trick you out and make you think that is done and it will not be done. Be patient. It will take about 10 to 15 minutes per flash to get this done. You will know that it is done when you come back to here and all of these are green. So then you will be good. And then if you come into manage, it will tell you what firmware is on and it'll say current. So do the crossfire portion first, then do the Tango 2 OpenTX version right here. Then come back in and do the Wi-Fi version, which right now I don't have, There's there is a current Wi-Fi version coming. If you watch this down the road, it's probably gonna be out, but right now it is not. So you'll wanna flash this afterwards. Each of these is gonna take some time again. So just be patient and it will all work out. Just don't get in a hurry or think that your Crossfire or your Tango 2 is locked up or bricked up or anything like that. So if you do all of this, it's gonna work just fine. I actually did mine. If you don't wanna mess around with the SD card contents, you can actually just flash these you'll get an air screen because some of the sounds don't match up and stuff. And there might be some issues running like Betaflight Lewis scripts and stuff. But if you don't use any of that stuff, I ran my crossfire like this for like four or five days without it and had no problems at all. I just had to skip past the warning message at the beginning, but eventually I did fix it. Now I turn it on and I don't have to worry about that. So you have to go through that little, pain and suffering with the SD card there at the beginning. And you can do that afterwards if you want to. You don't have to do it first thing. You can do that afterwards, but I would at least make the backup of it first and make sure that you have that. Make your folders, keep everything organized. It's hard to explain it all in the video, but I think everybody should get the drift. It's not that bad. So that is it for this video, guys. Lots more coming on the channel. Please stay tuned. Thank you for all of your likes and subscriptions and all that stuff. And we'll talk to you guys later.